All right, so back to scatter plots. Diving right on in, uh, we're going to talk now about clusters, gaps, and outliers. So this first one, um, these are clusters. Now, all three of these are the same graph. We're just pointing out different parts of them. And I can't spell cluster for some reason. All right, these are clusters what are circled. So what a cluster is, is groups of points, groups of data points. So here we have clusters. We would describe these clusters by going to from the furthest on the left. So this one we have a cluster at or from one, so that's where this one is, right? One, and then we would come over here to three, from one to three, and and then we would go top to bottom, right? Or bottom to top. And two to five point something. So uh, we'll call it 5.2. And so um, this would be x values from one to three and y values between two and 5.2. So that's this first cluster. And so then we do the second cluster over here. That's at about six points. So our x goes from six to, cause here's, or 6.5, do Mrs. Courtright, 6.5 to here's the line so we can say they're approximately nine or eight point nine whatever it depends on how how accurate it's wanting to be and then y is going from one all the way to we could call that three point nine or i'd even take four all right so that's describing where the cluster is located. That is between these x values and these y values. That's what we did right there. Now this next one, this is what we call a gap. And a gap falls between, this one's even telling us that this is falling between 3 and 6.5. Our gap is, you know, where the points are not. And there's this big gap between them. All right. And then our last one's outliers. These are any points that lie away from all the other points. So like when we look at these two here, um, we said over here that the cluster that y value wise was from 2 to 5.2. This one's clear up at 9, so it would be considered an outlier. Um, our second cluster went from 1 to 4, and this one's all the way up at 7. So that's an outlier because it's not part of the clusters. Now, it would be different if it's just like slightly above the others. Like this one we don't count as an outlier because it's so close to everything, right? We're wanting it f something that is far away from everything else. So let's practice. The graph represents the ages and heights of several people in a classroom. Identify the cluster and outliers in the graph and explain your reasoning. So here's my cluster, right? So the cluster uh, is between x values that, so this is 10, 10 and 15.1, so 10 and 15.1 and y values and so we're going to go down here so this is counting by eights so if this is 48 then i'm going to guess about 50 so um and y values 52 and then i would even count this one 64 because it's a little bit away, but it's still close to that cluster. It's not too far away from the rest of that cluster. All right, and then our outliers would be 32, 
comma, 60, four, five, 66. I'm guessing, I'm estimating based off of the fact that there's eight in between here. And then 41, comma, 72. So these are two points there super far away from the rest of these. So those are our outliers. And that's how we use clusters, outliers, or gaps uh, to help us be informed of the situation. What this tells me is uh, most of the students are around the same height. That's what that tells me. So until next time, eighth graders, stay classy.